not worth taxpayer dollars. That's what budget writers in the Texas Senate essentially said this week when, like the House, they zeroed out funding for Governor Greg Abbott's pre-kindergarten grant program. That story tops your Texas political roundup. The Senate Finance Committee unanimously voted out a series of education spending items Wednesday that cut funding for the grant program and instead put $40 million into a separate partnership with nonprofits to support pre-K programs in districts across the state. Abbott had asked lawmakers to double the $118 million they spent on the program last time around. An Abbott spokesman said the decision would, quote, jeopardize the future of Texas students. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick says his counterpart in the House, Speaker Joe Strauss, is, quote, out of touch on the bathroom bill. This week, the Senate passed out SB 6, which would require transgender people to use bathrooms in publicly owned facilities that match their biological sex. Knowing Strauss is no fan of the legislation, Patrick prodded him, saying voters want this law on the books. She proposed satirical regulations that would penalize men for masturbation to make a point about the invasive procedures women have to undergo here in Texas. But now State Representative Jessica Farrar says some of the Republican men in the House are retaliating against her. When the House took up another of Farrar's bills regarding attorney's fees, Republican Representative Matt Rinaldi asked if it too was a satirical bill. In a statement, Rinaldi said in part that when a representative admits to filing bills for satire, it calls into question their entire body of work. I'm Alana Rocha, texting while driving. Lawmakers say they cannot afford to wait another session to ban the distraction statewide. That story, plus the latest coverage from our Washington Bureau, is all online at texastribune.org.